Hi, I'm Chris Goodman, and I'm an UltraX Ace and Innovator. And I'm Joshua Burkow, also an UltraX Ace and Innovator. Welcome to UltraTrix. For today's design pattern, we're going to look at an API output. Here we can see an API which produces 50 records. What we want to do is make sure that we've got a complete set of results coming out of the API. So we're going to use a filter tool here and we're going to filter on JSON name one being equal to items. And this will just be the data that we want to put into our um, downstream tools. If we look at the false anchor, we can see that we've got um, a JSON name here of total results, which shows 50. So we'll filter out just this record. Now we're going to take the main stream and we're going to cross tab our data. So we're going to select JSON name one as our key field. We're going to select JSON name three as our header. And we're going to select JSON value string as the values that we show within the table. What we can see here is we've now got 50 records coming out of the cross tab tool. We'll bring in a record count tool, which will show us that we've got 50 records. And then in our testing bit, this is the design pattern. So we're going to join in our total results but and join on record position. So what we'll have is data coming in the left anchor showing 50 records and we'll have data coming into the right anchor, anchor showing 50 records. Because there's one record each, we'll get one, one record coming out. And then we can use a filter tool to do, do a filter where it says count is equal to JSON value string. We just need to go back and change the data type here because you can only join on two data types that are the same. So we'll change this to an int64. And what we can see now is on our filter, we have records coming out because that condition is true. We'll now bring in an append tool and this is the trick. We connect the test um, stream into the target and then the downstream data from the API into the source anchor. We'll select the target fields and then use select deselect high highlighted fields. We'll add our browse onto the end. So what we can see, because this condition is true, we get our 50 records coming out. We just need to make sure we've selected allow all appends. So that has now worked. Just to kind of show you that this is um, a useful trick if we add a formula tool to change the um, count, so we'll just add one to the count. What we see now is that condition is not met. So there's no records that um, flow into the append tool and therefore downstream we don't get any results. So this is a quick way of making sure that we get the results that we expect downstream. Thank you for watching. Click here to watch more and here to subscribe.